Welcome to my round three review. Uh, so I didn't do a round two review just because, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, ran out of time in the end. Uh, but just to update you on the trades that I did, uh, I did Bonner for McKercher and Barry for Powell. Uh, so yeah. <coughs> sorry, I'm feeling a bit sick today, so sorry if my voice is weird or something. Uh, but anyway, 2,098 is what we scored, and I'm very happy with that. Because, uh, yeah, it puts us up 16,000 ranks into the top 700. Uh, so that's really good. And so for this week, let's look at some of the scores. Stuart with a 99, uh, a bit lower than I expected, but, uh, yeah, I think he should be good. I think he's playing really well, just not necessarily getting the reward with super coach points. And uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about him. Uh, Hayden Young, uh, he scored really badly in the first two weeks. A lot of people probably trade him out. I decided to hold him, and yeah, that turned out pretty well so far at least. Uh, so yeah, he's not getting a heap of contested ball. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit concerning. Uh, but yeah, I still reckon there's a good chance he could be top six. So yeah, I'm just holding him for now. And uh, yeah, even even if he's not top six, I still think like he should be able to average a hundred pretty easily. So even though like he's losing a bit of cash in the short term because uh, of his bad start to the season, um, he's still worth holding. Uh, and then we have Howes. So a 26 um, is obviously not great, but uh, yeah, I think that's a bit of an outlier game. Um, and yeah, he can definitely still average like 60 or 70. Um, so a lot of cash still to make. So definitely holding him for now. And then, yeah, Williams was alright. And Marty Hoare um, is in the side for now with the May injury. Um, but yeah, his job security still isn't great. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see about him. Uh, in the midfield, everyone did pretty well, to be honest. I've been, like, a bit unsure on Jai Clark, but I thought he was pretty good today. Um, so definitely holding him. I think Wines, yeah, like, is, he's probably, like, William Drew is probably preferred over him in the midfield, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So... Yeah, I think you can trade him if you want, because he's probably not earning a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep him for now, because i got some other trades I want to do. And now into the four line, I think Darcy Wilson got 25. Uh, I think a bit like Howes, that's a, like a down game, and we can probably just keep him. And yeah, definitely, like he hasn't earned that much cash, he's still very cheap. So there's no point really trading him now. Um, and also Zach Fisher um, has to go with a 70. He's definitely not going to be a premium and probably won't, won't earn much cash from here. So yeah, it's just like a nothing pick. Um, may as well get him out. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> and we're going to get someone who like I've had my eye on for a while. Like, been planning on getting him in, and that is Sam Flanders. Let me just wait for it to load. I think Sam Flanders is probably the best forward. Obviously, we've got um, Heaney and Jackson, but they they both have, like, potential problems with their roles um, when, like... Um, what, like, Mills and Parker return for Heaney, and when uh, Darcy returns for Jackson. So, yeah, Flanders is, like, probably very likely to be, like, F1 or maybe F2 this year. So, I d definitely want to get him in early, because his price is definitely going to rise a bit more. And then we need a bit of cash as well to get him in. So the website is really slow at the moment. I'm trying to scroll down. So I was originally planning to trade out Campbell, um, but that doesn't quite give us enough cash, just because Fisher and Campbell both played a bit worse than I expected. 
So we're going to have to trade out Harley Reid. I, I definitely like not recommend trading out Reid if you don't have to. Uh, but yeah, I just think it's probably worth it just so I can get in Flanders. And the rookie we're going to be getting in is um, Darcy. Sam Darcy. Uh, so yeah, he looks pretty good. Scored like 100 or something last week and then even played a bit of ruck time this week so that was nice as well uh, so we'll complete trades and then we'll look at who we want to captain for this week so yeah uh, no buyer this week so unfortunately it's not best 18 I think best 18 definitely saved me this week with a few like poor scores on field. Um, but anyway, we get Tom Green back, so we'll definitely put him on field. Uh, we can probably do a loophole in the defense as well, just because Reed is still going to be out. So Melbourne playing first, so we can loophole. Uh, we can put the emergency on Marty Hoare. Oh my god, Supercoach is being so slow right now. Um, okay, we'll emergency Marty Hoare. And then... Oh my god. Whatever, you get the idea. Like, uh, I think I'm going to probably VC Gorn and put the captain on Heaney just because he's playing West Coast. But yeah, Supercoach is taking forever, so I'll just end the video there. So like and subscribe, and yeah.